Welcome back to another JM Golf video. Today, as you can tell, I'm not in the UK. I'm currently in Barcelona. I've managed to find one of the closest golf courses that I can, and we're gonna play a couple of rounds. We're here at the Cancuyas Golf Club. It's a nine hole course. So I'm gonna play it twice, currently waiting for the tee box to clear, and then we're good. Because I'm in Spain, I've got rental clubs. I had to buy some balls at the pro shop. This could be very interesting. First hole, 133 yards, 145 on the scorecard. See how we get on. And do a little knockdown shot. It's probably gonna be, yep, extremely short. Cannot trust rental clubs. At least we're up, second shot in. Yeah, I didn't say already, this is a par 54 course. So it's a par three pitching part. Stop, stop, stop. I have no idea how quick the greens are. Like I said, I'm using rental clubs. If I end up playing well on rental clubs, also only slightly diva-ish is, they've given me a blade putter and I never use a blade putter. So that could throw me. If we go right to left. On the putting green, my pace is all right. Go on, stat. Oh, that snap right at the end. Oh, this could be an interesting round. Four on the first. I will take a bogey considering I've never played this course. Never played golf in Spain. I think they're off the green. Are they off? No, they are not. They are not. Whoops, that could have been very bad. Here we go, second hole at Cancuyas, playing 135 yards. Well, it says 135 yards on the card. Let me just double check it. 142. It says playing 142, so I'm actually going to take a full nine iron, not a pitching wedge. <clears throat> full nine iron, same plan. Try and cut it off that tree. But I don't know how behaving these rental clubs are going to be. Luckily, the wind's died down. So there we go. Bunker? No, just short of the bunker. Second shot, side hill lie, not great. I may be thinking I probably have to take one more club per distance with rental clubs of my own. Go on, roll, roll, roll. I'm happy with that. I'm on, on the green for a putt at par. Half my handicap. Should be about nine. Let's give myself, if I can get under 10 over for the front nine, I'll be happy because I'm playing to my handicap. Don't know if you can see the floodlights around as well because this course does offer night golf, which I will be playing in a couple of days. Playing with a friend have a match and then we're going to see if we can't do a scramble and try and break par. I see this going to the left or left to right. Nice line, confident stroke. Great weight, terrible line. Right. Two bogeys in a row, still. I'm happy with it. Like I said, I've never played this course. I'm happy with two over through two. On to number three. All right, third hole says it's playing 106 yards. It does not look 106 to me. And it's really throwing me because I don't know whether to use my sand wedge or the pitching wedge. Somehow it's into wind again. Instinct says sand wedge. Instinct says sand wedge. Oh, uh, bunker. Sure. Right, mate, it was playing 106. Pitch and wedge. I'm so glad that didn't go anywhere near the guys in front of me. I do not want people shouting at me in Spanish. All right, so my instinct was actually right. I'm perfectly pin high, just about 20 yards right. Not in the bunker, which I'm glad of. That was a bit scraggly rough. Go on, run towards the hole. Go towards the hole. Go on. I was right. I can hear horses. 
pretty good day. All right, so I've got my par chance. If anything, just right center. Oh, little sneaky par for the boy. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, admittedly, I love playing golf in the UK. It's my home. But with the weather as it's been, you cannot beat this. This is absolutely incredible. Beautiful weather. I'm just having a great day. I don't think, no matter what I shoot, I would have had a great day. Granted, I've been up since half past three this morning, UK time. And it's now, what, 20 to two in the afternoon? I'm having a great day. <laughs> Unfortunately, this video is not sponsored. Uh, I would love it to be, but I'm not at that stage yet where I can get sponsored and get sent off golf trips. But if you guys hit that subscribe button, that like button, continue to watch, maybe we can get there. Let's get it together. Yes, there's a dog and some horses in the background playing 80 yards. So it cannot be a full swing. Oh, thinned it. Could work. No, it's gone long. That is qu quite a bad shot. All right, so I am long. This one's not prepared the divot. The fact the driving range is right there also scares the crap out of me. All right, I've got to just get this on the top of the hill because this is just going to run. Go on, stop, stop, stop. It's down the green at least. I don't know if I was even in shot that I've gotten used to the speeds of the UK greens and it's kind of messing me up. Remember, it's got a stand. Mm. So it's going to left. I think it's going to be a big swinging putt. <sighs> Come on, just get it close. Inside a bin lid. Still got to hit it. Still have to hit it. Tit. Whew. All right, save the bogey. I could make so many different excuses as to why these aren't going down. Most likely because of the putter, but I can't blame the equipment. It's got to be me at some point. On to hole number five. Fifth hole, 140 yards, down breeze, which is making me think I'm taking a pitching wedge. I mean, just look at this. Oh, I'm like, I'm going to like this one. Whoops. All right, so that's pin high, but that's hit a tree off the right hand side. All right, so I'm just short. Maybe I should have taken a nine iron. Oh, well, live and learn. Got a chip over a bunker, which I'm not massively thrilled about and it's got to stop quick which at the moment these are not so confidence inspiring i will take that oh yes please all right so so far even though i haven't really given myself a lot of birdie opportunities well i say a lot of i've given myself no birdie opportunities I'm at least making some good attempts to save par. There's no way this is not going left to right. No way it's not going left to right. Quick it up. Straightened out at the end. Okay, fair enough. Oh, what a sound. All right, so that's another bogey. So that puts me four over through five. So is this, I've got 112 yards. It's downhill, 112 downhill. Should be sandwich. Wind going right to left. It's right, it's gone right, it's gone nowhere. I think I'm in the bunker. Yeah, kind of glad I was short actually. Do not want to be long on this hole. All right, just a tap, just a touch. Go 
We could say, oh. oh, burnt the lip. Do you know what would, that would have done for my confidence if that had chipped in birdie? Oh. If I'd have chipped in a birdie, I'm, I'm, I'd have just walked home. Well, not back to the UK, that'd be stupid. Pretty straight, right centre, just in case. Mm. Burnt the lip again. <sighs> just listen to that noise as that goes in. Let's just do that again. Such a nice sound, such a nice sound. But unfortunately, it's still another bogey. Come up to the seventh hole, it's 130 yard into wind yet again, even though, there you go, wind just picked up. I'm gonna take a nine iron, smooth swing. I can't really go full whack at these clubs because they're not mine. So I don't know how they'll behave. Not too annoying, because I've been playing half decent with them. Who knows, maybe we'll have to switch to a blade putter. Go on, get on the green. Just sure, if I'd have put a full swing on that. Also, I'm taking clean divots, nice clean divot. It's just a great day. All right, so I'm just off the green, sand wedge in hand, little flick. I'm gonna try and land it about two, maybe three foot on the green, just to the left and let it roll out. There's no point trying to carry this all the way there because it's just gonna, it's not gonna stop. That's where I wanted it to land. Oh, textbook, textbook. I mean, if anyone's got the textbook that when someone says that it refers to, let me know. But now you're wondering, can he save the par? Can he get the par? Got the par. Thank you. So that puts me five over through seven. So while I'm waiting for the tea box to clear, I'm literally on the side of a cliff. But what a beautiful day. Beautiful course. It's going to depress me having to go back to the UK and play in dreary, wet, cold. And just, of course, it's not like this. <laughs> All right, this plant, this hole set is playing 130 yards. I'm going to take a pitch and wedge again. Actually, no. 130, it's no wind. Yeah, pitch and wedge, flags at the front. Pin seeking. Honestly, can't tell. We'll find out. What's fantastic about this course at the moment is, even from the tee box, you can hear the ball hit the green like a like a dull thud, it's such a nice sound. So my tee shot was just short, just off. I'm not complaining whatsoever. Right, let's get this close to the hole. It's going right to left. <sighs> nearly, nearly broke out the birdie dance in Spain. Another par on the cards. It's, oh, give a like if you absolutely love this game. Eighth hole here at Cancuyas, 140 yards directly into wind. I'm taking a nine iron, aiming it out left and then it cut back in. Oh, fatted it. That is the first really bad shot I've had today. Right, we continue. It's crazy how much just having nice weather affects your mood when playing golf. Like, yes, that was a horrible shot, but I'm in the beautiful sunshine. I'm not mad. Just means that it's a much shorter par three. Let's try and play for the bogey. All right, second shot. I've got just under 80 yards. Let's go a little flick with a sandwich. Little flick with a sandwich. 
Whoopsie. Right, this could be the blow up hole. This one could be the blow up hole. So you're looking at it, oh, this is the ninth hole. All right, this is the ninth hole. Fair enough. I was enjoying myself so much I didn't even realize. Yeah, this is the blow up hole, definitely. Off the back of the green. I'm trying to think now if I've missed any holes. That puts a little bit more pressure on it. Because <laughs> now I was five over through eight. Right. So that's four. I've really got to make a big double bogey putt. Big double bogey putt here. Oh, a little bit more pressure just been added. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. Triple. Ouch. That stung. And there you go. Thank you for tuning into this JM Golf video around this nine at Cancunas Golf Club. I shot eight over par. I thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share it to a friend, and I'll see you soon.